Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and people named Guardian Leafeon to r slash Twisted Reads. Today, we'll be taking a look at r slash Comedy Heaven, and I have taken this extreme announcer voice to the extreme to tell you to like and subscribe this video right now, or I'm going to get even louder and more obnoxious as the video goes on. All right, I can go back to normal. That you like? Good, good. All right, we're going to keep going then. Okay, to any event. Weddings, graduations, horse funerals, drug interventions, Tuesdays, more horse funerals, a quiet night alone, return of gym, anniversary of horse funeral, <laughs> come inside for a free consultation. Somebody tells me these people are really into horse funerals. <laughs> I tried to hold myself together as much as I could. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Type C for fast charging. C. Oh, so sad. I hope it really worked out for you, girl. I really hope it did. Lawrence, 2004 Chrysler CrossFit. Lawrence Wright created this group. This group has two members. Is this still available? Yes, it is. All right. Are you interested? No. Nah. <laughs> Lawrence is getting this poor dude's hopes up. Uh, I often think at this moment, my parents' wedding video, where the cameraman just zoomed into a plate of hay. <laughs> the camera guy's like, hey, this is a nice, w holy shit, that's a huge stack of hay. <laughs> The best shot of the whole wedding. Oh, yeah. The father walking the walking his daughter up the aisle. That's okay. The groom crying, seeing his wife in a dress for the first time. That's right. But this huge pile of ham. That's what I'm here for. I mean, no fooling. When I go to weddings, you better have a buffet. You better have a buffet because I'm going to be eating at that buffet. Free food? Hell yeah, I'll dress up some free food. Especially free catered food? Ooh! I hate high school. The older kids at school made me do the Fortnite dance and shout, Go, white boy, go. <laughs> I, I was I'm a, I was a little fat little kid. I had to do the truffle shuffle. I, if y'all know what the truffle shuffle is, that's some old school shit, all right? If y'all don't know what the truffle shuffle is, just, just Google it. And it's the saddest thing. It's just this poor little fat boy making his belly shake. Uh I feel you, brother. I feel you. I guess Fortnite dances are just the, the truffle shuffle of our of your time. <laughs> oh, no. Would you trade it for a riding mower? I can pick up and lay shitty. Hello, if I understand you correctly, you would like to trade a riding mower for a $19,000 car, and we will have to pick up the mower. Yeah. Is it made of gold? No, it's red. You know, but I, I, I think, I think, I think my little Peter, I put a Peterbilt, I put a Peterbilt motor in my mower. It's just too fast for me now to use it properly, but I think a good Peterbilt engine mower would work for a $19,000 car. You know, at least that's the only way I could see that mower being worth $19,000. I also would really want to see a Peterbilt built into a lawnmower. Like a big Peterbilt semi truck motor. I'm not a gearhead, but that sounds crazy and I want to see it. So excited for season three. What show, Bill? Please respect my privacy, Chris. <laughs> I'm a giggly little bitch today and I have no idea why. Uh. <laughs> You know what? I really wish people would do this crap instead of like, you know, on uh, on Facebook, like, oh, had such a rough day, blah, 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 blah. It's like, oh, what's wrong? You wouldn't understand. No, no, no. Just respond with, please respect my privacy. <laughs> Just confuse and piss off everyone that's worried about you. It is clear in the lease. No pets are allowed in the apartment. Sorry. Drug. Okay, I will make an exception because he looks very polite. 
he does look very polite though. Look at him. I've been personally thinking about getting like a, a reptile or a frog maybe. Um, as a pet. Cause I have a nice little shelf over on the other side of my office. That would be perfect for like an aquarium setup. Um, I'm thinking of a, like a leopard gecko. Just, I, I, they're so cute. And they have... Look up look up a le leopard gecko's feet. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to put a picture of leopard gecko's feet right here on the screen. Look at those little toesies. Oh, my God. Look at this little face. Leopard geckos are adorable. That, or I can go the badass route and get, like, a bearded dragon. They're just badass little, little cats, essentially. They're... I've never seen one that's not, like, loving. I don't know if it's just they like the heat of the human body or something. But they, they're they never shy. God, but anyways. Mr. Frog, you'd be welcome at any of my houses. I love you. Truly, truly do. He's so polite. <laughs> no, no. Ukrainian airplane crashes in Iran, killing 176 people. Yahoo! <laughs> Mario done jumps in that plane like it's a goddamn flying turtle. <laughs> Yahoo! We're going down, sir. What happened? I don't know. Some weird ass plumber guy jumped on the plane and now we're like spinning out of control to the earth. <laughs> Wahoo! Yahoo! <laughs> I'm crying. It's fucked up that I'm crying. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Don't ever let your girlfriend talk to another guy about her problems. A shoulder crime becomes a dick to ride on. Johnny Sins. The man of a thousand professions, Johnny Sins, has given us his advice on, on, on relationships. We should take this and have it mount. You know what? Some of these statues that are being removed around the U.S. here. Um, can we just replace it with a statue of, like, Johnny Sins? Just, just, listen, hear me out. Hold on. Hear me out, okay? It's just every statue has been taken down. Replace it with a, another bronze statue of Johnny Sins in one of his outfits, whether it's a firefighter or a doctor or a plumber or a repairman, just like all over the US. I think we can all get behind this collectively. And honestly, I think Johnny Sins would be into it. He's not only being immortalized on Prawn Hub or whatever the hell you want to call it, or porn in general, he's being immortalized in US history. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> This is what happens when you haven't talked to somebody all day long. You just ramble nonsensical stuff into a microphone. Sky News. The U.S. is a wonderful place to live unless you're at... Oh. oh, oh. What's after that in? What's after that in? You can't... You can't just... One of the classes I remember taking in school was a, a, a headliner, headliner uh, uh, presentation class. And they talk about this in particular, where you need to know how many spaces that your title can hold on mobile and desktop and TV to see, like, how it looks to everyone. And this is a prime example of why you do that. It's the same reason why I took very meticulous care of doing my banner the way I did. Because the way you see it on YouTube and your mobile art is going to be way different than you see it on, like, your TV or something. Um, so it's not just a bunch of white space. There's actually a bunch of stuff around my image that you just don't see normally. Um, but you, people really need to take these basic design classes to heart and understand why this stuff's being taught. And this is why. 100%. My homie Big Slim fell through the stairs, bro. Oh, Big Slim. Oh, homie. You really screwed up them steps, didn't you? Oh, my Lord. He looks, he looks so confused down there. Don't worry, Big Slim. Don't worry. We can go get you some number nines. Don't worry, all right? We got, I got you, homie. I got you. Why didn't Harry Potter drink Liquid Luck and then go kill Voldemort? 
Like, really. Because he's a dumbass. You know, <clears throat> after hearing about the uh, liquid luck, I've always been curious about that, too. Like, why would you not just constantly cook this shit up? I would. I would just constantly cook up liquid luck. You can stop me. They, I, I would eventually get an intervention about drinking liquid luck. I really would. My kids have attended the school for three years, and we love it here. I found that the majority of the teachers are excellent. My son was karate chopped in the throat by a Naruto wannabe. Pyo! <laughs> I just imagine some kid walking his own doing the fucking hand side, just karate chopping some guy in the throat. <laughs> hey, guys, if you ever actually had a fight uh, in school, let me know in the comments, because I would like to hear that story. I think it'd be funny, funny as uh, hell to read. Let me know. <laughs> just Naruto wannabe, okay. <laughs> the beast didn't sound shitty until a hundred foot wide boonado. And fully engulfed the divers. <laughs> a well blasted, ungodly amount of ass ham all over some divers. <laughs> I can't look at the post while I speak. Every every time I, I I've tried doing this take like two times without like laughing, two or three times without laughing, and I just can't do it. So you're gonna deal with, you're gonna deal with Boo Nato over here. <laughs> yeah, I gotta keep going. Thanks for the flight, Southwest Airlines. Had a great time. We're happy you enjoyed the extra leg room. We look forward to seeing you again next time, Lauren. The man is P. <laughs> oh shit, he straight up is. I didn't even notice that at first. Holy crap! Is it what is he doing? Peeing into the little little like sleeve compartment in front of him oh man homie's really going at it was it was, i mean hold up was the fasten seatbelt light on or something i mean he looks like he's in the back of the plane like if i understand his positioning correctly there should be a bathroom literally right behind him he's just doing this maliciously there's no reason why there's like four bathrooms on a plane normally just go to one of them Dear God, if I saw this, I'd slap the dude. Seriously, I'd just smack his bald ass head. <laughs> Man, it's pee. <laughs> oh. Anyways, guys, I think we're going to leave it out on the lonely crab here. Um, I'd like you to comment down below if you would seduce or devour him. Um, I'd seduce him personally. Look at Mr. Crit Crab over there. That's right. I see you, Crit Crab. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, coming into this month, I do have my 13 nights of Halloween coming out. It's going to be 13 or 14 days of uploads every single day. Creepy pastas, let's not meet, things like that. Scary stories from across Reddit. So please, if you want to see that, Subscribe, and I'll catch y'all the next time. See you guys. Bye.